Howdy folks and welcome back to SCOM. We're still up here at the hunting and fishing cabin and uh, today we're going to do some fishing. I'm in photo mode here, that's why it's quiet. <laughs> but uh, I went ahead and made a flag with the scrap metal we brought back. It had a lot of rags. So I'm hoping that'll keep uh, the puppets from spawning around the base. At least. And uh, like I said, today we're just going to do some fishing. Uh, this isn't going to be for everybody. Some people will be bored with this. That's fine. We're just gonna we're gonna hop in the boat, go out on the lake, and do a little fishing. Now, in between episodes, um, I did take uh, I think about four toolboxes that I had crafted. Uh, went back over to the town and I got my sword all fixed up. I uh, got my bush bushman repaired, and I uh, got my axe sharpened. And I apparently have to pee. Man, this is that's good prep work there, Kerbo. Good, good job prepping for the episode. This is how we do it. Full immersion. <laughs> Whoa, into the plants. So, uh, yeah. And then I went down to... Um, there's a compound. Where am I? We're here. Right here. The, uh, I think it's the power plant. Is what it's called. And on the uh, southwest side there, right inside, there's a vehicle uh, repair building, vehicle shop. And I grabbed a car repair kit. And there was another extra jerry can. So I picked those up. Uh, the SUV was getting a little beat up. I might have, I might have hit some stuff. <laughs> uh, so I did that. Um, actually, while I was over in town getting the tool sharpened up, I almost died. So that was fun. Uh, I got cornered by a big puppet, and he got a couple hits on on me. I was down uh, below 20% health, but got bandaged up. I mean, he damaged almost every single piece of my clothes. My shirt, my jacket, my t-shirt, my sporan, everything. Got that all repaired, and we're back to normal health. So the series didn't end. That's some fish biting right there. So as you can see, I got a bunch of supplies here. I've got my fishing pole, I've got some extras, got a whole bunch of bait, and we're just gonna go fishing. I'm gonna take off those, and we're gonna hop in the boat. Not following the lake. There you go. Yeah, we're just gonna do some fishing. That's the plan. I kind of want to fish from the boat. We'll see how that works out. row out here in the middle of the lake have a little fish uh, it just rained earlier I'm trying to look at the sky here but that's all cleared off uh, I do have my tracksuit top and my raincoat with me just in case got a little bit of this uh, is it biltong? I'm not sure how you say that it's cured meat of course we got water all around us. And we're just going to do some fishing. We'll see if this works out. If I don't end up falling in the lake. Um, I also, with the toolbox, I repaired my crossbow, but it only goes to 50%, so I guess that's because it was that damaged. Um, so we have wet feet, but, you know, whatever. We'll hopefully be okay. And let's see, we do have the, we've still got the thick line on. I th all the spare line I've got is medium. Got the treble hook, the floater. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I usually fish from uh, first person. It feels a little more natural. So we'll toss her in and see how it goes. A nice backdrop of the waterfall there. Uh, feeling slightly chilly. I might actually have to put my jacket on. Hopefully the rain stays away. Looks like we still got some rain clouds, though. We've already got some activity here on the fishing bobber. You gonna go for it, fishy? A bit of enticement there. You know you want it. It's a yummy red worm. It's 
So while we're fishing, um, I have, when I was flying around, I checked the naval base and uh, the float plane is there. So I'm kind of tempted to try to get that at some point. But it's tucked in at the docks and there's several mechs around. So it would be a, it would be a, quite a job. Now if I click keep, does it go in the boat? Okay. Didn't fall back in the lake, so that's good. Uh, let's try a grasshopper and see how we do. So it'd be cool to have the float plane, and if I get the float plane, I would love to try to land on this lake, but I don't know if that's doable. There's so many trees and the elevation. I might be able to land somewhere on the river and taxi up here. It'd be cool, just for something to try. But it might also be certain death. Ooh, there we go. A little something a little bigger. Oh, okay, not that much bigger. Less than a kilogram. <laughs> Uh, I wish the physical size changed with the weight. That'd be cool if it scaled. So we're getting uh, roofies. It's probably not how you say that, but it's funny. And we got carp on the grasshopper. Let's try another grasshopper. Of course, we got our friends, the wolves over there. You can hear them. There are a lot of wolves and bears around here. Yeah, I know. My feet are soaking wet. Let's try this side of the boat. I'm busy, Wolfie. Wow, this is really good fishing out here on this lake. The time we got a bleak. All right, that's some good vitamins. We'll stick you right up here. This might not that be be that long of a fishing trip. <laughs> this is great fishing. Getting back to the cabin might be a trick. I did bring my... Oh, the fish got away. I did bring my crossbow. So we'll keep an eye over there on the shore. Come here, fishy. Luckily, I don't think they steal your bait when they do that, when they get away. At least it's never happened. Am I... You know you want it. I can't seem to catch a catfish. I need to probably do some research. It's one thing I haven't caught yet. I think that I would catch that with a meat bait, so we might try some of that here in the lake and see what we come up with. Uh, didn't have any luck with meat bait in the pond over at the other base. Got to pee again? This is going to get awkward. <laughs> Come on, fishy. Got to go. I really just... Trolling around the bait. Come on, fishy. Just take it. If I look for the wolf, they'll grab it. I'm not seeing the wolf, but I'm not always the best at seeing stuff on screen. There we go. Not very big. Oh, throw you in the pile. All right, well, apparently I need to pee. Let's put that in the backpack. I think I started doing this on stream. Anytime I pee or poop, I go first person no UI just kind of asserted as a joke <laughs> so it's full immersion peeing there we go nice part about being on a boat just hang it over the side 
All right, let's try some meat bait and we'll see what we get in here. Yeah, I know my feet are soaking wet. Can't beat this for a fishing spot though. You're biting like crazy. So let me know in the comments uh, your fishing stories. You know, if you caught some monsters, do you have a big one that got away? What's your best fishing story from Scum? I know some of you have done a lot more fishing than I have. I thought I remembered you could flick and it would like entice them, but you don't do it too much. Hope I'm not confusing that with a different fishing game. A bit of line, although I don't think it matters. Some good fishing games out there. Russian Fishing 4. I should look into that again. It's been a long time since I played. It's a good fishing game, but the performance is really bad. I don't know if they ever fixed that or not. Come on, fishy. We need a big old catfish on here. There we go. What is that? Oh, it's a bass on meat bait. Really? Does the bait even matter in scum? I'm start I'm starting to think maybe not. <laughs> well, we'll screenshot that. Let me see. Can we get photo mode. Should we turn time on? There we go. Look at that. I think we got ourselves a thumbnail. Uh oh, it's doing weird stuff. All right, turn that off. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna keep that. Just throws it, throws it right in the boat. Good job. Two kilograms, not bad. It's a pretty good sized bass. Kind of surprised we caught that on meat bait though. It's kind of making me question whether the bait even matters. I don't know. Maybe the bass was hungry. I caught a bass IRL not too long ago. We were up at my mom's house. She's got a little pond. The kids were, had been wanting to go fishing. So I took them fishing. We didn't really have any luck. Had a few bites, uh, but I finally caught a little... Oh, probably like a six or eight ounce bass, little baby guy. Just on a, a rubber bait worm. Not with a float. It's, it's, um, it's just a rubber worm, but it's got like a little floppy tail. I have good luck with those with bass. But uh, yeah, we just didn't have that good luck, but it was still fun. Kids had a good time. Yeah, my feet are soaking wet. I should check those. Um, Next time we reel in. See if we're getting the old trench foot. Come on, catfish. I don't do a lot of catfishing with a bobber, but that's the only kind of fishing we can do in scum, I guess. Normally you'd want to wait your line and get like some chicken livers or something. Because catfish are bottom feeders, typically. Something little. The bleak? Yep. That's alright. Bleaks are good for the diet. Well, that's all the meat bait I had. Let's go back to the, the red worms. Got that on a great big old treble hook. Let me try. I don't know if the hook makes any difference. Let's redo this. Let me put this medium hook on here just for fun. Actually, let's kind of do this logically just mix things up and we got our hook and we got our worm all right what you got for me lake so far so holy crap well i mean you can't really you can't really argue with the number of fish we're catching <laughs> So what we got? We got a big old bass, uh, a couple carp, 
and uh, Prussia, a couple different kinds of carp here. A couple Crucian and one Prussian. And we got the uh, the Rufy, a couple Bleak. It's not bad for like 10 minutes worth of fishing. Not bad at all. Let's cast this way and watch the waterfall. There we go. A little, little better view. You got any uh, tips? Leave them down in the comments as well. And the bleak. All right. We're going to be in good shape for bleak. Especially catfish. Uh, I've not caught a catfish yet. I also need to go out on the ocean and can't remember if I... I think I did get a tuna in the one video. But I, I definitely haven't caught all the different fish there are to catch. There's probably a steam achievement for that. I know for sure I haven't caught a catfish. I may have got most of the others. Need to go do some ocean fishing again at some point. There's, there's actually a pretty, pretty good variety of fish. And a little bitty guy. Is that a roofie? Yeah. I was going to check on my feet, wasn't I? Two you up there. How are we doing? Oh, do I have to put the rod away before I can check on my feet? What? Shift Q didn't seem to work. All right, it's still just wet feet. It hasn't developed into trench foot yet, so that's good. My feet are wet. That's okay. We can live. Now, I was trying to remember earlier today, I was thinking about what I was going to do in this episode, and I was trying to remember, my memory is bad sometimes. I can't remember, did, did I make more money selling the fish or selling the fillets? I need to look that up before I, oops, he got away, uh, before I cut them all up and salt them. I need to see what's, what's the best way to sell them. Another dang bleak. Okay. I wonder if that's because we're using the smaller hook. You reckon? I'm gonna run out of bait, but I can always make uh, meat bait. So we'll keep some of this fish around the cabin here for some food, but I'll probably sell a lot of it. I've got a bunch of food back at the regular base, too. Food is not a problem. Finding the right variety of food sometimes is, but finding that vitamin pill jar was handy. We're in good shape now. Oh, look, there's a whole school of fish. I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the compression. The whole, uh-oh, uh-oh. What we got here? 2.63 chub. <laughs> Look at the little tiny, little tiny fish, and it's the biggest one we've got so far. That's funny. Look, he's bigger than this big old three slot bass. Okay, well, I guess the size of the hook doesn't really matter. So yeah, what was I saying? Food's not really an issue. I've been selling a lot of food. Uh, I just can't remember if, if I should cut it up or not. But I, I think I've got some fish in my uh, pond base that I've never cut up. And they, I think they're still at 100%. So hopefully they fix that at some point. Yeah, there's that school of fish again. That's cool. Come on, catfish. You like grasshoppers, right? Is that a roofie? Nope, so another carp. All right. It's gonna make me happy if I organize these. A little 
bleaks up there. All right, we got one more grasshopper. Uh, I think I'll just use all my bait, and we'll see what we got. Very pleased, though. This is this is an awesome little fishing trip. There's another school of fish. Little bitty guys. What a great game. What a great game. I don't know if it's still on sale, but it was on sale the other day for like 40% off. So if you don't have scum and you've been enjoying the series, uh, keep an eye on the Steam store. They do sales once in a while. You don't want to, I think it's worth full price, and I've bought all the supporter packs, but if you don't think so, definitely keep an eye out for the sale. Best survival game out there right now for how I want to play. Not the best PvP. I've heard that there's a lot of lag and issues with the uh, multiplayer. But they're not really concentrating too much on getting that sorted until they get content on the game. Because you optimize and you add new content and you got to optimize again. It's just a vicious circle that wastes dev time. And if you've never done programming before, you don't realize just how exponentially more difficult it is when your game is multiplayer. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. If you stop and think about it, every, every little change you see on screen either is going to be ignored by the other players or it needs to get transmitted over the network. So if I turn, you know, if my float moves, if my gear changes, and not, not even to mention you start firing weapons with projectiles that need to be tracked, and it, it all adds up. It's not an easy task. All that state has to be synced across the network in a timely manner, or it starts looking weird. Speaking of looking weird, what's going on with those grass shadows over there on the shore? <laughs> Anyway, I'm just rambling. Fishing and rambling. That's today's episode. Oh, he got away. So we'll see. I'm not sure what we're going to do next episode. I might head back down to the power plant and try to get some more car repair kits because I don't have any extras right now. And uh, I do occasionally run into stuff with the SUV. <laughs> so we need, need some repair kits. Another little bleak. A good supply of those. All right, we've got two worms left. Uh, let's switch back to the, the treble hook. I think it's bigger. Let's switch back to that. Get a worm on there. Oh, there goes the fishies. <laughs> oh, there's the other school right there. That's cool. We'll just plop that out right there. Have any big fish following the little fish? Come on, catfish. That'd be a perfect way to end the episode of catching a catfish. So I think I'll leave this rod up here. And then I've got the improvised rod in my SUV, I believe. It's either there or it's back at the other base. So we've got pond base and we've got the hunting cabin. We might get some other bases going. We'll just see how long the series goes. Don't know how long I can stay alive. Mr. Chubb, you are the champ for this this outing. Look at you, 2.6 kilograms. All right, last worm. Let's cast towards the waterfall again. Some nice scenery. Yeah, this has been a great spot. I mean, other than the wolves and bears. <laughs> What's your favorite fishing spot on, on Scum? Let me know. I do enjoy your comments. So keep them coming. Got some heightened activity out there. but Fishing activity hasn't been a problem so far. Come on, big catfish. Watch, it'll be another bleak. <laughs> I've got the thick line. I think this is the thickest line. 
So when they latch on, you can tell pretty quick whether it's going to be interesting or not. So most fish will barely even show on the uh, the pull meter, line tension meter, whatever you want to call it. Come on, fishy. At least it didn't rain on us. That's good. It was raining right before I came out here, so I was a little concerned. That's why I brought the raincoat. Come on. It's a yummy red worm. Just ignore that hook it's on. Give her another little flick. it out by looking for the wolves again. <laughs> oh, he just hit it and ran. That's pretty accurate, though. I mean, if you've done any fishing IRL, you've, def you've definitely had fish do that. It's usually the smaller ones. They come up and they're nosing around it. They'll kind of, they'll hit your bait enough to move the bobber, but not enough to catch them. Be back at the boat here in a little bit. I'd have to recast. Come on. Video's gone on long enough, fish. There comes a school of them on the right there. I hope those come through on YouTube. The compression might just completely make them disappear, but that's cool. You can see the little schools of fish. If you've played Scum, you know how good it looks. It looks way better than what it looks like on YouTube. Yeah, my feet are soaking wet. Here comes the school of fish again. And another school of fish, not biting my hook. <laughs> Something's definitely messing with it. Come on. Like my fishing buddy used to say, that's why they call it fishing, not catching. I'm sure I've told this story before in other videos, but I used to go fishing with a buddy, he had a boat. We went up to uh, Mark Twain Lake here in Missouri on a Saturday and spent all Saturday out on the water. I never even got a bite. He got one bite. And we didn't catch anything. Still a good time, though. All right, this is getting a little bit ridiculous here, fish. All right, I can't take anymore. I got to check the bait. Did he take the bait? Nope. It's still there. Wait a minute. Are you bugged out? <laughs> okay, scum. I see how it is. Last fish. I thought this was going to be about a 20 minute video. Running a little long again. That seems to be the theme lately with the scum videos. There we go. Another little tiny fish. A roofie? Yep. 0.2 kilograms. There we go. All right. Last fish. We're going to release him. He's, he's pretty small. We've got enough fish. <laughs> uh, what a trip. All right, I need to move some of this stuff over so I can get my rod back in my backpack. There we go. All right, 
time to head back. Thanks for joining me on this little fishing expedition. See if we can get back to the cabin unmolested by wolves. I think, I think I want to aim for right there. Seems like a better place to get down to the water's edge. It's a little hard to steer with the oars. But it saves on fuel. There's no point in firing up the engine just to row across this lake. We'll save the fuel. There you go. Pull it like you got a pair. I haven't heard the wolf for a while, so hopefully he's long gone. There we go. All right, what have we got in the boat? Is it just the... Yeah, it's just the fuel can. You're hungry. Well, have I got a deal for you. <laughs> Uh, wet feet, hunger, stomach. Okay, so we didn't we didn't ever get trench foot, which is good. Um, I think as long as you're barefoot, you might be okay, which would make sense. You're out in the air. Uh, I think it's when you're running around with wet socks for too long. It's when you start running into problems. But I'm going to make my way back over to the cabin. I'm going to do some checking on pricing. I don't know if I should just leave all these fish. Way! You're not supposed to spawn in there. Okay, well, the flag doesn't do diddly squat. Good to know. You stuck behind the door? Okay. You're going to get unstuck eventually, right? Oh, this thing used to be loaded. <laughs> I must have unloaded at some point. Wow. I am so good at this game. Come here. Stick your head through again. Stick your head through. Alright, fine. Let's just get you. Oh, she's in the corner. I couldn't hit her. Jolly good show. Jolly good show. Way to be. Take it. No, not open. Take. I think my wounds are minor. Let's check. <laughs> wow. Should have just ended the recording. Yeah, it's just a little minor. It'll heal up. We're fine. Where'd she hit me? It's kind of all over. All over in that area. Did you at least bring me something good? Well, if you managed to watch till the end of the video. <sighs> Look at that. Even repaired to 50%, that's worth a decent chunk of money. If you stay till the end of the video, you got a little treat. Me getting my butt kicked. <laughs> oh, brother. All right, that's it, folks. Have a good one. I'm just going to bleed all over the floor here for a bit. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.